Como é que é, malta da pesada? Estamos aqui de volta para mais um episódio de The Invincible. E como podemos ver, nós no último passado, a Yasna reaches the base and watches the Alliance units from hiding. Despite their concerns, she moves towards them. Já descobrimos, realmente tivemos a oportunidade de ir embora, mas decidimos explorar mais o que é que se passa e fomos investigar a base da Alliance para perceber exatamente o que é que se passa neste planeta, para perceber o que é que aconteceu aos nossos colegas. Entretanto, a gente também já viu que chegámos lá e não tinha qualquer tipo de sinais de vida. Nós já observámos de longe e vimos realmente uma forma uh, aparentemente humana a caminhar. Eu suponho que seja um, um robô, mas vamos, vamos descobrir neste episódio. Outra coisa que eu falei antes do episódio passado falar foi que parecia que tínhamos a oportunidade de terminar o jogo porque deseu-nos a escolha de ir para a nave e ir embora ou vir aqui à base. E eu fui pesquisar e realmente este jogo tem 11 finais possíveis. E eu obviamente que fui investigar, não visualmente, mas sim as instruções de como ter o melhor fim. E só vos digo isto, tenho de estar atento a uma seringa, tenho de, tenho de apanhar algum tipo de seringa ou de, 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 de vacina, uh, isso será vital, por isso vamos estar atentos a isso. De resto, não sei mais nada, não, não vi spoiler nenhum, não sei o que é que vai acontecer, só que tenho estas coisas todas possíveis e que é bom estar atento a uma seringa. I'm not blind, sir. There's really no one here. Could be some kind of trick. Not a living soul. Better for your safety if they make the first move. If you really don't see anyone. All right then. Enter the base. Just slowly, with your hands up. Okay, cá estamos nós na base da Alliance e tem um destes que foi o robô que apareceu. Já naquela gruta. O que eu tenho a perder? Sua vida, doctor. Ok. Nothing. Agora vou estar para a noite à procura de uma seringa. Eu vou entrar. Clear. For now. I can't hear anyone either. Ok, se quiserem ler, podem pôr pausa. E eu não vou ler que isto é bastante grande. Ops, F. Ok, ali parece ser para sair. Não. Ok. Podem ler se quiserem. Bro, isto é bada grande. Parece que estou no mesmo sítio. Será que dei a volta? Não. Ok, já sei onde é que estou exatamente. Moving on. Ok, esta não abre. Empty. Everywhere, just empty. Já estamos a ter, a ter interferência. Hello? Vamos a ter interferência nas comunicações. I'm at the central module. In the headquarters. You walked in, just like that. Yeah. The doors were open. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. I have a record of their mission. 
Each step, location, units, including dates. I'm all ears. Day Zero, landing place. Their main ships in sector AQ-28. The Invincible? What? They didn't move it? Huh, seems so. I'll try to track it down. Please tell me what else is in there. Oh, like us, they became interested in the ocean. They got there on the seventh day. Hmm. Quite late. I guess they weren't in a hurry. Before setting up this base, they were stationed not far from here. But seemed very determined to reach this area. They dug a vast system of tunnels. When did they finally get here? On the 15th day of the mission. They conducted research and during excavations found... Oh, you won't guess. Metal structures. So we had no chance to outrun them. Yeah. And they were already at an advanced stage of works when we were still in orbit. In the end, they sent a convoy to a neighboring sector. So, that was their last move? Well, there's no information about their return. And maybe I'll find them there. Highly probable. Do you know what the current day of their mission is? They left on the 25th day. That's all I know. Well, I can't back out now. I have to follow them. It's your decision. Although I admit I'm also starting to wonder what you'll find. People, Astrogator. They must be somewhere. I'm sending a satellite. Soon I'll have an image of the area where the ship landed. We'll see if the Invincible's still there. I'll continue to search their base. On the 24th day, they sent a convoy north to the sector. Oh! To the sector where I found Gorski. Do you suspect they went after him, having detected his signal? Oh, surely they could detect him. Ah, they... they could have detected all of us. But would they really do something about it? Well, for some reason they left their base. I'm assuming that has something to do with it. Or if they had something to hide, that might explain their urgency. Ditching all that equipment. Ok, acho que está tudo aqui. They've got a device for intercepting alarm signals. There isn't much of it. Single record. Can I turn like this? How do I go down? Hello? Oh, tem aqui qualquer coisa. Ah, o Force Field. Force Field's down. I opened the passage. We can follow the convoy route now. When you're ready, Doctor. Ok, temos de explorar bem este sítio. And our satellite will be over their ship. I'm at the control station. Oh, we're lucky. Clouds are low. Several units can be controlled from here. I wonder which. Ah, oh, damn. One's unavailable. Probably out of reach. Or they took it. I got the feed. But I can't get it to move. It's got a weak signal. Must be too far away. Oh, 
One is a flying unit. Some sort of probe. Flying over the base? Correct. Can you extract data from it? Sure. Never too much data. Especially in the current situation. I just need to find a place to land it. Ora bem, a gente está. Vou pôr aqui em landing site, ok. Makes sense, não? Oh, tem aqui pegadas. Onde é isso? I landed the probe. Gonna check it in a spare moment. Os outros não vão ser úteis? Nope. That's disappointing. Ok, that was a checkpoint. Não vai dizer mais nada sobre isto, ok. Exatamente. Me pareceu que isto era importante. Poor guy. He's dead. Waited help for over a day. Critically low blood saturation. He died of hypoxia. At the time of his death, he was. Biasna, is it necessary? This information will no longer so help anyone. So I need the city. One, eight, five, six, one. Seven, five, four. Yes, it's Gorski. I'm sorry. You, you lied to me. You lied how he died. I knew you would blame yourself. Well, of course I do. I could have saved him. Left him that fucking tank. Why didn't you let me? I made the right decision, Yasna. Given the circumstances and our knowledge at the time, there was a high risk your sacrifice would kill you both. I know that. I know. I'm sorry. You have every right to be angry. Yeah, maybe. But I don't see the point. It won't bring Gorski back to life. Will it? Mas ao menos nós estamos vivos e acho que isso também é importante. Ok. Where might I be? It's a bit confusing. This is a bit confusing. Olha, mas estamos aqui no certo. Isso quer dizer que está ali o robô, exatamente. Foi aqui que a gente entrou? Foi sim senhor, acabei de sair pelo mesmo sítio que entrei. Ok, nós estivemos ali. Vamos ver se eu consigo chegar ali à, àquela última. Não sei se já o fiz. I heard that the difference between past, present, and future is nothing but a persistent illusion. I'm entering the next module. Okay, I, I can guess it's a biolab. Biolab? Syringe. Okay, ainda bem que aqui vim porque não tinha aqui chegado. They had the opportunity to study organisms preserved in the ocean. Wow. They found the same species of fish. Did they confirm the similarity to those on Earth? Yes. Lots of similarities. Apart from one. I've never seen anything like this. They discovered a new organ. 
even managed to run some tests already. According to their conclusions... Yes? It detects electromagnetic waves. That's why those fish were swimming away from our probe. In other words, they've come across probes or something similar before. Something that threatened them. Kugasa. In order to develop such an organ, they must have had a strong external stimulus. They detect the waves to survive. That's because there are robots in this planet. Hmm. It started rotting. It? Uh, the fish. In a bacteria-free environment? How so? All living organisms serve as breeding grounds for bacteria. And there were both fish and humans in here. No longer alive. What? Why did I take it? What can I do with it? The scientists excavated some animal remains and reconstructed their hypothetical appearance. I found similar remains underground. Right after finding Gorski. I wasn't sure if it was my imagination or not. Now there's no doubt. So long, long ago, reptilian organisms roamed the surface of Regis Three. I could spend all day here if... Well, if I could. I'm not surprised, Doctor. Okay, a gentle bone fish. Why, I do not know. Next why door. Still... Nothing. It looks like a geology lab. And... E aqui era exatamente onde eu queria vir. Ok. The range of their ground measurements covers a much wider area. To my eye... It seems they use advanced sonar. What they dug up here stretches for tens of kilometers. What do you mean? What's in the ground, Doctor? Metal deposits. Those structures. We still don't know where they came from. In such a peculiar form. They conducted a soil survey 500 meters deep. Oh, that's a big piece of history, so to speak. What did they find? Millions of years ago, life was abundant on the planet. That would match our assumptions. Yeah. Subdelta 92 class planets have very favorable conditions for the development of a biosphere. So what happened? Did they draw any conclusions? According to them, the extinction of life was caused by a supernova explosion. The ground activity does not indicate... It happened long ago. Longer than we anticipated. They've dated this event to 10 million years ago. Uh, only this one. The supposed end of Lyran's civilization. Oh, that's never been proven. There was practically no trace of them. All right. What happened after? Life was slowly recovering, but never returned to the pre-supernova peak. Not enough time? No. At first, it developed quickly, but then slowed down and declined. Because... another disaster? Astrogator, the change in the biosphere development curve coincides with the occurrence of ferruginous clays. This whole metal contraption, do I understand correctly? Yes. I don't know what that has to do with it, though. Metals are really not that dangerous. The radioactive deposits marked here are not a definitive obstacle for life, either. The biosphere has the ability to perfectly adapt 
develop defense mechanisms, and fight back effectively. Well, unless the planet is hit by a supernova wave. Yes. Such sudden events leave no time for adaptation. Even if we assume that these metals were lethal to organic life, that extinction shouldn't last forever. And yet, life never again developed beyond the waters. Does this mean another Dominator has appeared on the land? Or oh, one that leaves no trace behind? Therein lies the rub. The Alliance have conducted a great deal of research. That they haven't found a logical explanation for this phenomenon is, to put it mildly, disturbing. Clearly, we're dealing with something beyond our comprehension. And I mean human comprehension in general. Unbelievable. Not only do we know nothing about their origin, but the arrangement of these deposits is sort of puzzling. A ring system with a distinct center. The center of it is in... Hmm, under the city. Huh. The one I escaped from. So their presence there had nothing to do with us? Looks like it. Did they determine the entity's function? Origin? Anything? <sighs> well, it's hard to say. There's nothing here about it. This base stands on the outer ring. One of these diagrams shows a geological cross-section. As suspected, it's all metal below the surface, of relatively thin layers of rock. But compared to the rest of the continent, the deposits in this region are significantly younger. Okay, checkpoints. I like... I like checkpoints. Ok. Temos aqui o drone e está ali um robô. Parece estar desativado. First images from this area. If it's been flying long enough, it may store important information. Unfortunately, apart from my arrival, the probe didn't record much. So it's been flying only recently? I think so. Okay, não tinha nada útil. Um bocado triste. Bem, vamos ver o robô. Está ali outro. Será que não conseguimos aceder a aquele? The silhouette I saw. Yes. It's just a robot. Ok. Bem, vamos ali à parte que eu abri. Será mais válido de carro. Zero. Eu gostava de ir ao mapa. Ok. A gente está aqui. Ok, estou um pouco perdido. Como é que eu tiro isto? Ok, vamos à volta que eu quero ir ali. Ver se... O force field que eu, que eu abri, exatamente. Oh, 
Oh shit, é neste que... Neste sítio aqui. Bem. Let's go for a ride. No. Para de invisível. Vamos ter de dar a volta, infelizmente. Ok, como é que se sai daqui? Terrain muito infeliz para a navegação. Tenho de dizer. Pois, eu acho que este é o nosso tal e o, o, o nosso probe ali no, na dashboard, por isso eu acho que este é o nosso carro que deu teletransportou-se onde, onde a gente o escondeu para aqui. Eu acho que era suposto a gente ter usado o carro para, para chegar até aqui. Nós viemos a pé. Ok, vamos lá então ver o que é isto. Onde é o acordo? Ok, não era absolutamente nada, era só para a gente não passar. Field Base 2, Convoy Path. Exatamente, ok, então a gente... Ok, Convoy Path. Got it. Ok. Então temos de ir por ali. Então, eu acho que a gente já explorou tudo. Mas tinha outro caminho ali da base, acho eu. Vamos, vamos experimentar ir por o lado contrário para já. Parece que este force field era só para não passarmos. Para, era, para nos obrigar a ir à base, senão se, se isto fosse a nossa segunda vez a jogar, passávamos logo à frente a base. Ora bem, onde é que a gente está aqui? Estamos a ir para a field base 2. Exatamente. E, I guess que podemos ir lá ver. Ai não, não dá para passar. Ok. É isso. Exploramos tudo, sem dúvida. Será que é melhor ir confirmar outra vez? Vou dar aqui uma vista de olhos. Ok, a gente entrou neste carro, sem dúvida. Entramos por ali. Yeah, entramos neste carro. E andamos em todo o lado, sem dúvida. Estou confiante. Podemos prosseguir. I'm leaving the base. Going after the convoy. Dá para ver tão mal neste. Não se vê nada neste carro. Quero olhar para as coisas para ver o que é que é. Eu vou seguir aqui o, o, a linha dos, dos gajos. Exatamente. Oh, 
Well, I've got to the place where they were digging. It's hard to miss. They set up a huge machine at the center. Tem que sair do carro porque não dá para ver nada. Bro. It must weigh hundreds of, no, thousands of tons. The ship that brought all of this must be gigantic. Yes, Invincible surpasses any of our units, even the largest orbital stations. My opinion, it's a bit excessive. Ah, oh, well, for me, it's quite impressive. That was exactly their goal to impress. Such giants aren't very practical, though. I would even say that the larger the ship, the bigger the problems. Okay, I'm going to have to explore this. In comparison to the Colossus, they look like it's pups. Yes, I got it. They have big machines. Bigger than ours. Interesting. They found a sizable object deep underground. Stands out from the rest. It's not a part of the structures, but rather an independent, autonomous machine. Also metal? Yes. So, a robot? Or something else that finally looks familiar? Well, it looks a lot more like a robot than the other structures. The excavator has a massive work area. They had photos of the site in the database, taken before they started digging. It's unrecognizable. Inside, there's a structure. Yes, a metal one, similar to the ones on the surface. But these are completely hidden underground. According to the schemes from the geological unit, metal can be found in every part of this area. Que que ele vai só para entrar aqui? Two modules were placed nearby. The first one looks residential. The second one is a mobile laboratory. Okay, a laboratory. They excavated a lot of different objects in terms of shape and size. I tried to arrange them somehow to classify them. Were they successful? It looks promising. If they had spent a little more time, they would surely have come up with something. And yet they gave up all efforts. Now how far to that convoy? Oh, not far. Even if I make a few stops, it won't take long. Okay, parece que não tem aqui mais nada. Completamente opcional. Então jogo. Ok, eu sou da esquerda. Ok, extremamente interessante. The fuck? Tá ficar boa da rap, tá ficar fixe.
No, I lost. Oh, that was nice. Okay, let's go back to the car. Beauty the shadow key. Coming set. Patrash. Siga, Nina. Ok, a partir daqui já não me vieram mais nenhuma máquina grande. Não tinham como passar por aqui. I've already covered most of the convoy route. I'm entering a more enclosed area. A ravine, to be precise. I see. Can I count on a tactical report? Of course. A simple analysis of the situation won't hurt anyone. Hmm. That's for sure. Ok, como é que eu chego ao Observation Point? Ok, cá estamos. The road ahead leads straight to where the convoy was heading. Well then, what are you waiting for? Any doubts? No, no, I don't. I still think we have to go there. If they're not in the base, they must be somewhere, damn it. So, what's on your mind? I can just drive in there, straight to the convoy. Or try and take a side path to remain unnoticed until the very last moment. Bold assumption. Could be an unnecessary detour. I leave that to your judgment, though. It's your call, Yasna. Fuck it. Uh. Actually, I don't think it will make much difference. I'm heading straight to the convoy. Ok, let's see. Estou tentado a terminar aqui o episódio, mas acho que vamos, vamos avançar mais um bocadinho. Eu acho que eles estão todos mortos, por isso é que eu escolhi ir pelo sítio principal. I'm nearing the destination. From now on I'll be on foot. Good. It's better to approach with caution. Actually, I don't have a choice. The road is blocked. Seems like a site will collapse. How typical of the Alliance, to destroy everything that's in the way. The radiation level is rising rapidly. Yasna, be careful of radiation, of other people. Just watch yourself.
Considering the radioactive environment, I assume the probability of finding people here is close to zero. It might well indicate something quite the opposite. Human technology equals radiation, after all. One of their vehicles got stuck in the rubble. Oh, so you've already reached the convoy. It's only this vehicle so far. I'm looking for the rest. Ah, está aberto, bro. What the fuck? Não era, eu gostava de ver alguma coisa. And there's another mobile antimatter cannon. Another one? How many of those did they Is it active? Dead, fortunately. I admire your composure. <sighs> well, I've had my fair share of anxiety lately. No wonder my brain's in defense mode now. Dissociation is something we all do. Hang on, someone's here. Oh shit. Oh, I see one there. Oh no. Astrogator. They're dead. So you found someone. After seeing their base, I had a feeling it might end like this. Still, I wonder what were they looking for? Was it that they killed? Just what the hell? That was a checkpoint right there. Oh, another hole. Great. I'm not sure if it's safe to go in there. Last time it turned out to be quite hazardous. True. Maybe take a look around first. Okay, thanks for the tip. Ok, vamos ver onde é que aquele vai ter. Ok, ok. I'm getting into the Antimats recorder. match the location of the base we've searched. All of the Alliance's semi-autonomic machines can be remotely controlled, right? Uh, yes. In that case, they were conducting an inspection before marching out. The convoy is heading somewhere. I was there! It's the location with the giant cranes. Right before they lifted that strange artifact above ground level. They're getting close to where I am now. They're here. Sending a probe. It's hard for them to reach the site. That's why they're trying to get there from above. Oh. They're tunneling their way through. With a beam of antimatter. How subtle. Can you locate the breach? Looks like they found whatever they were looking for in that ominous tunnel. Bro, what of the course. fuck is that? Don't jump to conclusions, Doctor. Not before you finish. We need to know what to expect there first. Those containers ended up in one of the transporters. I wonder if it's still nearby. Huh. Shame. 
The transport's leaving. Something's going on. One man's trying to draw the attention of the others to... I have no idea what's beyond the frame. The photo is such poor quality. You can clearly see the fear on his face. One of them is staring with concern at an instrument. Some sort of meter. Measurements are also strange. The electromagnetic field is in the upper range. That's a recurring factor, which explains nothing, really. We're going in circles instead of getting off this planet. Is there anything actually helpful in those photos? Don't you want to know what happened, sir? I do. If my crew was safe and sound, I'd gladly investigate it myself. Explaining this mystery would not only expand our knowledge, but also bring us honor and glory. Not to mention the exposure of the Alliance's incompetence. At the moment, though, I have other priorities, Doctor. Next slide. People rushing out of the tunnel, running from... whatever's in there. But are we still considering whether you should go inside? I admit it's all very intriguing, but also too risky. What I'm trying to say is, I fear for your safety, Asna. I'm grateful for that. The situation is far from safe, true. But I've got to do what I've got to do. Whether I'm scared or not. One of the antimats has fired straight into the tunnel. And? What happened next? There's nothing else. Only... Darkness. Can't you see what he was aiming for? Total panic. Everyone's trying to escape. Astrogator. The Antimat's new objective is to eliminate. Instead of protecting. What happens next? There's also a second Antimat. It's shooting into the air. Unbelievable. Both were faulty. The second Antimat. That's what destroyed it. People are frozen with fear. They don't know what to do. It's firing directly at the crew. Shooting them. One by one. It's horrifying what an antimatter beam does to the human body. Sorry you have to see this, Yasna. Regis Three doesn't spare you. Who needs such destructive power? This technology puts us on a straight path to annihilation. Well, the Alliance will do anything to feel invincible, hence their flagships. It's not only them, Astrogator. If I remember correctly, we're not engaged in open conflict. And yet, we too participate in this ridiculous arms race. To the death and beyond. Someone hid behind a rock. How do you know? This antimat has thermal imagery. Hiding from it made no difference. One man has raised his hands in surrender. If only a machine could take pity on him. With a proper programming, it could recognize such gestures, but it could never feel compassion. No. It, it killed him. The machine just killed him. Oh, fuck. Yes, no? The last photo is from a few moments ago. I'm on it. Bloody hell, so it's not dead after all. The machine that massacred the Alliance is still operational, and it could target you at any moment. Let's hope not. Perhaps it's best to hope. While moving away. If that's all... What about that tunnel? Oh, right. So? I'll go check it out. I know you will, Yasna. Proceed. 
Ok, pessoal, dê um checkpoint. No próximo episódio vamos explorar aqui estes túneis. Este aqui primeiro, se me lembrar, espero eu. Mas, já, yeah, realmente eu... Parece que quem vive aqui, a entidade que vive aqui, consegue controlar as máquinas, basicamente. Bem, espero que vocês tenham gostado deste episódio. Eu gostei bastante desta evolução. Gostei de perceber o que é que tinha acontecido no planeta. E realmente estas últimas imagens foram mais esclarecedoras. Uh, espero que vocês tenham gostado. E vejo-vos na próxima. Até logo. <risos>